I think you know what I shit changed from my perspective, man. You know what I, I'm thinking right now is is niggas is it's like fucking traffic in the rap game now. You know what I'm saying? I remember when when an album was coming out, I was like. Excuse me, there's only like a few selected labels that was putting records out, but when you seen the label, it was like, oh shit, yeah. I know this is it. I know they got some shit on here. Now it's so much fucking traffic, you know, everybody got a record label and everybody rapping, so you don't know what the fuck to buy no more. You know, the radio ain't making it no better. They make it good though. I love the radio. Don't get it fucked up. But they still don't play the shit like they used to, man. There was some great shit on the radio. Well, it was some great shit in rap, man, that's just going unnoticed, that went unnoticed. And we had to kind of rely on the visibility of the label and the credibility of the label for us to, you know, buy records. So that's changed a lot, man. And then back then also we didn't have YouTube and MySpace and shit like that. You know, we didn't have uh, 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 downloads and shit. All right. So they really cut into a motherfucker pockets when a nigga downloads and shit free. <laughs> Be like, man, fuck it, I'm finna hate on this nigga and download this shit so everybody can get it free. I'm gonna do like the damn um, Radiohead. See, Radiohead did with their album? They like, fuck it, just give us something. Well, you can download it, <laughs> name your price. <laughs> shit. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> Put my record out free, shit. That's gonna create some conflict. You know what right. I mean? The first the 15 rolling every fucking, you know. <laughs> You know, bill money. <laughs> no, but I'm going to drop some mixtape shit. You know, it's going to be some free internet download shit. Because I got a whole, I got a whole fucking three or four 160 gig hard drives of years and years and years of shit that I recorded in my house. That I'm just going to start just giving away. You know, oh man, we got a new, and I'm going to endorse the shit. So it's my shit and you can have it him. Bye. Don't bootleg it. All right? That kind of shit. Am I inspired by artists today? Uh, you know, that's a that's a, a scaly question, you know. Because when I hear weak shit, I am. <laughs> and when I hear great shit, I am. I'm inspired by, by corny shit. Cause <laughs> it makes it makes it makes great music sound better. If it wouldn't be if it wouldn't be for like whack shit, nigga. When like, detox come out, like who? you know what I'm saying? Like niggas is waiting on detox right now because it's like fucked up. You know what I'm saying? I just gave a nigga a fix. I gave a nigga a black. I just got a nigga high. Dre is finna come and get a nigga, you know, detoxing nigga ass. You feel me? Yeah, man. It's, it's, it's weak shit. I guess I can say that, man. And 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 and, and being true with it too, man. Weak shit is inspirational for that reason. Cause it makes great shit sound better. You know, if you you you've been eating fucking potato chips for the past four years, the nigga take you to room, Chris. <laughs> I asked my daughter what you mean. <laughs> you, know, you call a thirteen year old kid and they don't know what that shit mean. This motherfucker ain't speaking English. <laughs> so, <laughs> like goddamn. No, but I, I love that kid, man. He brilliant. He did the right shit, man. And people should respect that shit. I came to Chicago sometimes. There was like 10,000 motherfuckers all representing the same shit. And it just, when you see some shit like that, and you're like, I'm in Chi Town. Like, it, it, it gets really real, though. Making a demo to get signed to Bad Boy and Hove was making reasonable doubt. I mean, we used to be in the pool, pool room at the same time, seeing each other coming through, so. But I remember you got a one of them saying like, yo, yo, my nigga, I feel like a shark is under me. Why the sharks was fucking swimming with us while we was on the um the jet skis. So remind you, it's late at night, sharks is all around us. This is Houston, this is not LA. We don't play that shit out here. They're mad, they're all breathing hard. We tell them who we are, we're like, they call, call Scarface, cause Scarface ran the club. So they call Scarface, they're mad, they're mm -hmm. okay. So they hang up and they like, let him go. 